Okay, let's talk about how to change a decimal into a fraction. So something like this, here we have 0.3. We can change that into the fraction 3 tenths. So how do we do that? Well, this is not that difficult at all. And uh, a lot of you out there probably already learned this and you're just looking at this video for a quick review. Now for myself, I learned this the first time way back in the 1970s. That was a long time ago. So I totally forgot what I learned. And if you're not using this all the time, you know, you're gonna forget. So it's no big deal if you forgot and you're looking for a quick review, but maybe some of you are learning this for the first time. Either way, it is very, very easy to change a decimal into a fraction. And it's a must know basic math skill that, you know, you definitely want to understand. So we're going to get into all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. Uh, dot com. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that all math students can be successful in math. So if you're struggling in math, I'm telling you, you can be successful. But it requires two things. One, you have to be willing to work hard and study math. And the second thing is you need great math instruction, clear and understandable math instruction. So that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, definitely check out my math help program. I'm going to leave uh, links to all my stuff in the description of this video. By the way, if you're preparing for any sort of test like the SAT, ACT, GED, or maybe a teacher certification exam, any test prep course, I can help you out as well as you homeschoolers out there. By the way, if this information helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as I'm posting math videos all the time on my channel. Matter of fact, I have over a thousand plus math videos currently on my channel. Okay, so let's get into how to change a decimal to a fraction, an absolute must know math skill. All right, so here is how this works. So here we have 0.3, okay? So if I said, say this, okay, like how would you describe this? Well, if I say 0.3, some of you would say, well, this is 0.3. That's the way I would uh, say this out loud. But some of you might say, well, this is 3 tenths. Okay, so you could say this as 3 tenths or 0.3. Well, we want to say the decimals. We want to um, say decimals that we want to turn into fractions uh, this way. Okay, 3 tenths. We don't want to use this point like this point. That's not going to help us out. We want to say this is 3 tenths tenths. So in order for you to be able to recognize that this is three tenths, you need to understand place value. Okay, and I'm going to review this real quick. Um, and place value, again, is one of these basic math skills. But uh, if you now are starting to remember, oh yeah, this is three tenths, I remember that. Well, then uh, you're going to well be well on your way to be able to change a decimal into a fraction. Because let's say this out loud again, three tenths, three tenths. Well, just write that, okay? So this is 0.3, right? That's one way of saying it. We're like, okay, three tenths, write three tenths, okay? This means three, this is this three, and this is the, the tenths right there. This is how we would say it, three tenths, all right? So that's all you have to do when you're changing a decimal into a fraction is to be able to uh, state it with its place value and then just write it out. So let's go ahead and practice this now. And uh, again, you know, uh, don't feel bad if you forgot this stuff. You know, it's probably been many years for some of you out there. Uh, but, you know, it's like riding a bike. Once you start doing this again, it, it'll come back to you pretty easily. So let's uh, practice how to say things here. So when the decimal point is right in front of a number, like in this location here, that's the tenths place, okay? So this point two... All right, you can say 0.2, but if we're intending to write this as a fraction, let's start using this place value description. This is uh, in the tenths place, so this is 2 tenths. So I can write this as 2 tenths. So 0.2 is equal to the fraction 2 tenths. All right, so how about when the decimal point is right here, okay? So this 2 is in the what spot? Well, this first spot here is where this was. That's the tenth spot. This is the hundredth spot, okay? So what do we have here? Well, we have two hundredths, two hundredths. And again, got to understand place value. But So you have point, this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, so this is two hundredths. I simply write two hundredths, and there you go, 0 0.02, or is uh, equal to the fraction two hundredths. So if, um, you know, those of you out there are like, oh, this is all I have to do? Yeah, it's not that difficult, okay? All right, how about this one, 0 0.002? Well, if this is the tenths, 
this is the hundredths. What do you think this two is in? Well, that's in the thousandths place. So this is two thousandths. Okay, so you just go like so. 0 0.002 is equivalent to the fraction two thousandths. Now, some of you might be saying, well, can I reduce these fractions down to like, for example, one fifth? Yes, you can and you should. However, when you first are writing a decimal as a fraction, just write it out using that place value description, and then you can go ahead and simplify. But let's go ahead and take a look at a few more examples here, and we'll call it a wrap. How about this decimal here, 0.37? Now, again, if I say it as 0.37, that's not going to really help me out. So when you're looking at a decimal like this and you want to write this as a fraction, remember this is in the tenth uh, spot, and this 7 is in the hundredth spot. So you have to use this last digit here. Okay. Again, if you're not um, really uh, up to speed on place value, I have some additional videos on this, but that would really help you out. Again, place value is all this uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths place, but this is in the hundredths place, so this is 37 hundredths. So you just simply write it this way, 37 over 100. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this last example, 0.425. Again, we're not going to want, uh, say it that way, 0.425, tenths, hundreds, thousandths. This is 425 thousandths, okay? So you just simply write it as 425 over 1,000. And then, of course, you always want to uh, reduce uh, these fractions, but, you know, that's a separate video, and you should uh, learn how to simplify and reduce fractions if you don't know how to do that as well. But again, let's just take uh, mathematics one skill at a time, okay? Converting a decimal into a fraction is something that you absolutely need to understand and hopefully you understand that now. And if that is the case, don't forget again to like this video and subscribe. But um, I'm gonna encourage you to check out uh, all my other videos on my channel if you are studying any level of mathematics. I cover math from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.